Okay, so it's going to reboot. That's going to fire up. Okay, so it's going to default to our USB drive, or Unibus drive. One thing to remember is hit the space bar, and you're going to have to enter the following boot flags. If you can see that, and I'll put the text on the screen as well. Oops, you want to be very careful with this because if you enter the wrong thing, it's not going to work. So take your time. And it's going to go off the screen. Uh, don't fret, just keep typing. All right, so I entered my boot flags and I'm going to go ahead and just hit return. And I got it in verbose mode, so it's going to go ahead and show me step by step what it's doing. And then that way I know if I made a mistake where I can go back and look online for information. All right, it's going to keep going. You think it may have hung up, but it's just doing its thing. It's thinking. And that CPU S equals one, uh, that command is going to make you go a little bit slower because it's only using one processor. Still cooking. There we go. All right, so keep in mind the graphics are not going to look too good because you're not utilizing your uh, graphics card yet, and um, it's going to be slow. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our language. Okay, before you install, you want to format the drive that you have attached. And on a side note, make sure it's mounted to your SATA port zero. Uh, the reason being is we'll find out a little bit later, but just so that'll make your life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and launch Disk Utility. All right, and let's find our drive. It's just one terabyte crucial drive. Go ahead and select that. And partition. One partition. And go to Options. Now, unlike creating your uh, USB boot drive. Uh, this one, you actually will use this setting here, the GUID partition tab. So go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and just name this Yosemite. You can always change that later. And of course, it defaults, but just check Mac OS Extended Journal. And you're good to apply. And partition. And it's going to do its thing. All right. So you go ahead and quit Disk Utility. All right. So let's go ahead and install OS X Yosemite. Continue. You promise. Blah, blah, blah. Read all the stuff. Yeah. Continue. Agree. Okay, you want to select your drive. This is the one we just formatted, so go ahead and click that. Customize, this is default. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. And click continue. And it's about 13 minutes remaining. Um, it'll fluctuate, it'll seem like it's faster, then get slower and whatnot. So it shouldn't take too long, so go ahead and get a cup of coffee or get a drink of something, and uh, we'll come back and check on this. Okay, so I'm going to tab over to our Yosemite drive. Then I'm going to enter the boot flags. And take your time on these. If you make a mistake, it uh, won't work. Okay, that progress bar, that's a good sign. 
Okay, also keep in mind your graphics are still going to look a little weird because we have not installed the NVIDIA driver for our graphics card yet. So you want to choose your country. Click continue. I do not have a Bluetooth or wireless keyboard, so I'll go ahead and skip that. Okay, um, I do not want to import anything at this time, but if you have your installers and everything organized, I suggest you do a clean install. Um, but if you absolutely have to, later on you can um, import from Mac or a Time Machine backup or startup disk. But for now, let's just go ahead and don't transfer anything. Click continue. I have a iCloud account, but I'm not going to enter that information right now. I'm going to go ahead and skip this. We'll move on. Terms and condition. Read this. Agree. Yep, I agree. And go ahead and just create your local account here on the computer. It's going to require a password as well. I usually keep this off because I don't like things running in the background. Um, I'm always afraid it's going to slow my machine down or something weird. Continue. Okay, let it run. It's going to set up your Mac. Okay, so we made it to the desktop. Keep in mind, you, if you're using dual monitors, you won't have dual monitor support just yet. We'll get that resolved later with the NVIDIA driver installation. I want to try to reboot one more time with only the installation drive mounted or attached. Um, I want to unmount the USB drive and reboot with the newly installed Yosemite drive. So let's go ahead and do that and restart. And keep in mind, you're going to have to enter the boot flags yet again, but we'll get that resolved later in the um, PLIS. And we'll talk about that later in another video. Okay, this is a good sign. It's asking us to log into our local account that we just created. So go ahead and enter your password. Okay, so before we do anything, I want to make a clone of this. The reason being is you don't have to go through the, just go ahead and quit this. You don't have to go through that installation process again, because that can take a while, especially with the CPUS equals one boot flag. I recommend using Carbon Copy Cloner. It's a really good software for doing your backups. Pretty easy to use. Uh, they also have a free trial, and I recommend you buy it if you use it quite a bit like I do. So what you want to do is you want to back up this drive in its purest state. So that way, if you make a mistake with your post installation tool, Multivase, and you're messing around with the KEX files and your PLIS and everything, you can actually restore from that backup drive and not have to reinstall OS X again with UDBeast because that can take a while. Through that, of course, go ahead and select the USB drive, continue, choose, and here's all your various settings, but uh, I did all this previously.